If you want to keep your crypto safe and secure, then you need to keep it in a mobile wallet or an offline wallet. And if you're still wondering which wallet is right for you, then keep watching this video. What's up everyone? My name is Daniel and welcome to Crypto Bull. In today's video, we'll be going and setting up our MetaMask wallet, which can be used on your mobile phone or your desktop. We will be setting it up initially on a desktop. I'll be showing you step by step how to do it. But once you have the private keys, you can set it up on your mobile as well. So let's jump right into this. All right, so before we go into this, let me briefly explain and summarize why exactly do we need MetaMask wallet or any other wallet for that matter if you can keep or store your crypto on any centralized exchange. For example, you have bought some crypto, let's assume Ethereum from Binance or Coinbase. Now at this point, your crypto is stored at Binance exchange or Coinbase exchange. The ownership of your crypto is with Binance or Coinbase. You don't own the private keys to your crypto. And in the crypto industry, as everyone says, not your keys, not your crypto, which means that if something happens to the exchange, which actually happens, we have all seen the FTX collapse, your crypto will be gone forever. So in order to keep your crypto safe, you need to keep it in a wallet where you own the private keys to access that crypto. In short, your crypto, your keys. You will have the ownership and custody and no one else will be able to take that away from you. Now, this is the reason we need to keep our crypto safe and secure in any other wallet except exchange wallet. And when it comes to the types of crypto wallet, there are two options. One is online, which is connected to the internet, and one is offline. Now, offline will be paper wallet or hardware wallet. This is the most secure kind of wallet, but it is not practical anymore if you are actively trading. But if you want to store your crypto for a very long time and just forget about it, then hardware wallet is the ideal choice. But if you're storing your crypto for a short term period and you want to trade or maybe you want to stake your crypto, then you have to go with hot wallets. And when it comes to hot wallets, I think MetaMask is the biggest name, the most reliable and probably one of the oldest as well. I have been using MetaMask for more than six years now, never had any problems. And this video is not sponsored. This is my personal recommendation. I absolutely love the experience. I have used DeFi, Coinbase wallets, etc. All of them are great. but MetaMask definitely stands out when it comes to the flexibility and adaptability. So let's go ahead and set up our MetaMask wallet. This will largely be three step process. So the first thing is you need to go to any browser and search for MetaMask. Either you can go to the website or it's better if you just go to chromewebstore.google.com and the Chrome extension of MetaMask. This is much easier to set up and quicker as well. So once you're here, just click on add to Chrome add extension and the extension will be installed now there are two options when it comes to sign up the first one is if you want to create a new wallet in this case we are creating a new wallet but if you want to import an existing wallet then definitely click on this option if you have the private keys to your other wallet or metamask wallet or you're just restoring your lost wallet then simply go ahead select this option in this case we will be creating our new wallet simply click on i agree and now is the time you need to select a password. This password will be used to unlock every time your browser opens up. Or if you install MetaMask on your mobile as well, you will need this password to access your crypto. So I'll just create a password here. Click on create a new wallet. Okay, so this step is absolutely crucial and do not skip this step. This has to be done right away. Go ahead and click on secure my wallet. And once you land here, you need to click on reveal secret recovery phrase. Now these recovery phrase are public in this video because I won't be using this wallet, but these recovery phrase and this pattern is the secret key to access your crypto. If you lose this, you lose your crypto forever. And believe me, people have lost millions because they lost their private keys. So this is absolutely crucial. You need to write this down on a piece of paper. Do not take a picture. Do not write it in your notes on iPhone because that can be easily hacked and that's something you don't want to do. So write it down on a piece of paper. What I typically do is I make five copies myself handwritten and I keep them in a safe place in a different place where only I can access these private keys. So once you have copied all of these private keys, in this case, I'm just going to copy and keep these private keys in a separate notepad just for the purpose of this video. 
Once you are done with this, click on next. Now this will ask you randomly what was word number three, what was word number eight, so just to make sure that you have secured the private keys. In this case, I'm gonna fill in word number three, word number four, and word number eight, which will be this one, and we are done. So the wallet is successfully created. So officially our wallet is set up now. And once you click here, you can pin this to your to your Chrome bar as well. This is how it typically looks like. From here, you can select the mainnet that you want to use or testnet. By default, it will be on Ethereum mainnet, but you can choose different networks and you can add different networks here. For example, if I want to add base network, which is very popular nowadays, I can simply go ahead, click on base network. And from here on, I can just simply switch to base mainnet. Now, one of the most popular blockchains is Binance Smart Chain or BNB Smart Chain. You can actually add that as well. Simply go to network and click on BNB Chain. And here we go. It's done. Now you can switch between Ethereum, BNB, base mainnet. You can approve the transactions. You can transfer to this wallet and this will be your wallet address. You can create as many accounts as you want. There is absolutely no limit. And believe me, I have created 100 accounts in one MetaMask wallet on BNB Smart Chain and it worked smoothly. So in case you want to create a new account inside your primary MetaMask wallet, you just need to click on add account or hardware wallet and you can create a new account. Now, as always, I hope you found this video helpful. Do subscribe to the channel, that really helps. And if you're interested in learning how you can launch your own cryptocurrency, on a decentralized exchange or maybe through pink sale through a pre-sale or fair launch then go ahead enroll in my course it is available at coincraftblueprint.com the link is in the description this course is available on udemy as well again the link is in the description it's one of the best courses you will find on the internet and probably the only complete course on pink sale ico or if you're interested in knowing how the crypto scams or rug pulls really happen behind the scenes step by step, then go check out Decoding Crypto Rug Pull. This is available on Udemy as well. Both the courses are on sale for limited time only. So do check these out. Link is in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.